people a casual discussion about animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or all three. And today we're talking about blue whales. Let's see if we can get through this without a single Finding Nemo joke. Blue whales are the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth. They can reach 100 feet long and weigh upwards of 200 tons. Wow! That's really big. Super gigantic, in fact. Their hearts can weigh as much as a car and just their tongues, just their tongues, can weigh as much as an elephant. That's crazy. Crazy. What kind of diet does an animal like that need to sustain in order to be that huge, you might ask? Good question, although I bet you probably already know it. They eat krill, little shrimp-like little thingies. Yeah, you know, swim away! Oh, that was fast. We made a Finding Nemo joke real quick. Blue whales are really big, yeah? So they can't really go that fast. They tend to go at about five miles per hour, but when they're upset or agitated, then they can get up to 20 miles per hour. So still not very fast, but you know, fast for being so absolutely giant. So absolutely huge! Blue whales are among the loudest animals on the planet, and they, you know, they make all kinds of groans and moans and bow and all of that good stuff. In good conditions, blue whales can hear each other up to 1,000 miles away. That's too far. Scientists think that all of this, you know, talking that they do is not just to communicate with other blue whales, but also for sonar so that they can navigate the dark, dark depths of the ocean. Blue whales have one baby at a time and they spend about a year inside of their mama's tummies and then they come out at about three tons. So again, a little bit bigger than an elephant. So they come out of the womb as one of the biggest creatures in the world. And they gain 200 pounds a day just on mommy's milk. So krill and milk, that is like the diet of one of the hugest creatures on the planet. Being one of the hugest creatures on the planet or the biggest creature on the planet has some of its, uh, you know, advantages. Don't have a whole lot of predators. Most Things are just gonna swim up to you and be like, oh God, that's big. That's so much bigger than me. I can't even handle it. And then they swim away. But sometimes they, they do fall victim from sharks and killer whales and humans. You know, they have run-ins with ships and stuff like that. They are an endangered species. Only 10,000 to 25,000 of them are estimated to be left in the oceans of this world. The average lifespan of a blue whale is anywhere from 80 to 90 years. That is insane. And the oldest known blue whale that they've ever found was one that was 110 years old. And how they determine how old a blue whale is, is they count the rings inside of a blue whale's waxy kind of like earplugs, like a tree. Like counting the rings of a tree, but it's counting the rings of their ear, kind of. Thank you so much for watching We're Gross and Beautiful. My name is Katie Wayne, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Wayne and ask me what animal you would like me to cover next week. This week's animal was suggested by Calm Venus, so thank you so much, sweetheart. Mwah. It was so nice to meet you at our meetup in VidCon. If you'd like to, you can check out these videos over here. I bet that one is pretty good. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.